this is a world-class university which serves the world uh, and competes with the very best in the world. So we need world-class facilities and for a college, um, for Pembroke, uh, to develop its facilities as it's doing is terrifically good news for the university in attracting the very best students, uh, undergraduate and postgraduate from around the world. And one of the great joys of the new build is it is indeed on the main site. So it's going to be connected by a bridge. The students will feel entirely integrated into the college community. So the academic environment, the, the, uh, the buzz that goes around the college should be much higher in, with, with all of these new facilities. I think that the project is an exciting one and the opportunity of chairing the campaign board I took as a, an exciting challenge. The project is well defined, the benefits are clear and it's something I enjoy doing. One of the most important things about the new building is it will give us undergraduate accommodation for the second years. Now that's something that the college hasn't had for years and years and years. Well I think that the best thing Pembroke could do to improve life for graduate students would be to add more graduate housing. Because right now Pembroke has a lot of graduate students which is great for the community but it doesn't have housing. The bridge makes a huge difference. Had we not eventually got the authority to, 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 to put the bridge in place, we would have had something more akin to an annex. The fact we've been able to have the bridge means that we can link into the, the main site and people will pass seamlessly from one part of the college to the next. So I think that is the most important feature. It's not an annex, it's the fourth quadrangle of the college. It's the expanded site. Pembroke's made great strides in recent years and the thing that is lagging behind all that progress though, is the extent of our physical facilities. We're also short of teaching space, particularly for seminars uh, and lectures. So uh, we really need to try and address that problem now we will have all of these new custom design facilities. We will have the lecture theatre, the meeting rooms, uh, the art gallery uh, and the cafe over there as well. So the benefits will be obviously for the undergraduates to participate but it gives us the opportunity for the first time we can now uh, participate with the university organised events such as access initiatives which we haven't been able to do before. I think life will really be transformed at Pembroke College by having the new facilities because the infrastructure will just be so much better having purpose-built teaching rooms, rooms for governing body to meet in, the new auditorium, I think for both staff and students actually everything will be transformed. I'm very excited about the new auditorium that's being built. Pembroke's so good at drama and music and I think it'll just be a great place to be able to show off um, so many of our talented students here. I'm also really excited about the um, college bar that's being built, the underground bar underneath the hall. Um, I think it'll be a great space for the JCR to hold meetings, have bops and events and I just think if I was showing around a future applicant they would really be drawn to those kind of things so yeah I'm very excited about those two aspects especially. The outset of the design saw us looking at um, wanting to create a very much a, a sort of traditional um, college building of, of, of the but of a contemporary design so in terms of its materiality it was very much a stone and a brick type construction we weren't going out to create some very contemporary wacky scheme but see something as very much as sort of an extension of what's there now and something that would sit very comfortably in its surroundings but at the same time create something that was very much of today and uh, develop a, a scheme that the college would feel proud of as, as it moves forward over the next hundred plus years.
Prembrook wouldn't exist had it not been for the generosity of previous generations and everyone who's been at Pembroke has benefited from the generosity of those previous generations. So I think that undergraduates and graduates and those who've been involved in the college should really be grateful for what previous generations have done and that should encourage them to give to the campaign so that future generations can benefit from the education that Pembroke provides. I think Pembroke alumni uh, recognise how much they owe to the college which helped to um, send them out into the world and uh, give them a much better and more fulfilled life. Uh, I think in Britain we haven't had quite as good a tradition of uh, supporting our old colleges as happens in the United States and we're competing with those universities which have much bigger uh, endowments than we do. I very much hope that at Pembroke and other colleges uh, people will respond to appeals like this, uh, will support their colleges much more uh, because if another generation is to have the advantages that um, I had and others had have at Oxford, uh, then we've got to give them that chance by providing our colleges with the resources to do it. So I hope that old Pembrokeans will be very, very generous to their college. For me personally, I've had just had the best year so far at Pembroke College. I've been supported academically, welfare, I've just had so much fun and I'm sure a lot of alumni would be able to relate to that. I really think that to be able to continue that legacy that Pembroke College has would be a very um, good reason to get involved in the project. If ever you uh, were minded to uh, support a project at uh, Pembroke, this is the project and this is the time.